So I love this question. I get asked all the time about specific inmates. Why is Chris Watts safe? Why is this person safe? The reality is, like I always say, time doesn't exist in prison, only opportunity. As long as Chris Watts' name is alive, he'll be alive. When his name dies, he dies. And that's the thing. What you see on the media isn't how it works in prison. And anybody that's ever been on the inside will tell you the same exact thing. While his name is so like popular in the media, everything he does is broadcasted, every phone call, every letter, every relationship about his night terrors and how he's the victim, this little fucking demonic piece of shit. The warden knows he's got to keep the killers and the sharks at bay. He's got to take the corrupt officers that will take the hit, put them on the other side of the prison. He's got to get all the troubled convicts that will also take the hit and put them away in some type of disciplinary confinement. So a lot of times... When the convicts can't get to you, they get to your family. They extort your family, you know, and by doing that, what they're going to have Chris Watts doing is basically working in a sweatshop, making memorabilia and selling it to all these sick motherfuckers, toenail clippings, whatever the fuck it is, clothes, underwear, it doesn't matter. They're going to make them sell everything and they're going to lace the warden's pockets, the CEO's pockets. Everyone's going to get money off of him because he's living in terror every single day. And then eventually, families die. His money supply runs up. And no longer does he have lawyers and constant media checking on him 24-7. And the best part about it is he knows that. He knows that what he did caused his family to live in fear and have to hide and be extorted. And every single day of his life, he has to be lucky. Where a convict only has to get lucky once. So look at Billy from Texas. He raped and killed all those old ladies, just disgusting fucking demonic piece of shit. He was one of the high profile serial killers ever. 15 years later, they find him in a Texas prison with his throat cut because no one cared anymore. He was once an international superstar. I hate to say it for his notoriety. And once all that shit died down and nobody cared, guess who does care? The convicts, the victims, the COs. Look at the piece of shit Larry Nassar, that doctor who raped and molested all those young girls in the Olympics. It took him a little time, but they stabbed his ass up and PC had him running for his life. Look at the rat Chomo Whitey Bulger. They knew that motherfucker was coming into the prison, beat him so bad. And we're talking about a government informant that was on the run for almost 30 years. Gets to prison, gets wheeled into a cell, and gets the eyeball beaten out of his head. It's like a game of chess. You just have to be smart. Slowly but surely, someone's gonna pay someone and he's gonna get hit up. That's just the way it goes. I mean, the more you think he's thriving and living the good life, I tell you, the more he lives in fear. The more his family is living in fear. That's why they hide him and do all these transfers and, and, and hide him and hide him and hide him because he still has so many people watching him. See, I know it's hard to come to terms with the reality of that, but let me ask you this. What's worse than instant gratification? Every single day that man lives in fear, knowing one day something's gonna happen to his family, knowing one day something's gonna happen to him, that that door is accidentally gonna clicked open and his throat's gonna get cut, or he's accidentally gonna resist arrest and get thrown off the top tier because someone paid that money, or someone wanted to make a name for themselves, or someone took an oath to wipe these demonic motherfuckers off the face of the earth. If you're looking for instant gratification, it happens on the less high profile cases, but someone like this, you have to use the art of war. Let his name die and he will die. Stay out, stay free, us. Thank <laughs> you.